Hi everyone, um, I hope you're all safe and fine despite the situation. So my name is Clara, I'm 18, I'm French, in case you haven't noticed my accent yet. And today I'll be sharing about my undergrad and first year experience at UCL. So I'm going to speak about my program and giving you a few tips um, about choosing a university, why did I choose UCL, and so on. For me, I'm studying biological sciences and um, I'm interested in ecology, conservation, protection of our env environment uh, regarding climate change. And um, so this is like the thing that really interests me. But before being sure that this was the right pathway for me, I wanted to um, give, give myself the chance to, to discover other aspects of biology to be sure about my choice actually and um, so this is why biological sciences um, for me was the perfect decision because um, the first year is here to give you an overview on all different on all the different basics of biology um, so that you can choose your specialty at the end and so that you're sure you're not missing anything and so yeah this was if you're struggling if you don't really know which di direction you should take in biology i think biological sciences is a perfect degree for you because it's going to give you an overview on all the different aspects at the end of the first year you can choose between different pathways to specialize yourself and so you can either stay um, general so stay in the biological sciences pathway or you can go to zoology um, what are they called? Um, conservation and biodiversity, um, cell biology, genetics, human genetics, and there's a th there's a fourth one, which is only accessible in in third year, which is computational biology, and so yeah, in, you can basically find find all of these informations um, in more details on the website, of course, of UCL and I really recommend you guys to have a look at them even if you're not interested in biology and so on because it's really there that you can find all the information that you need and that will interest you Now, um, I'm doing the MSc which is different from the BSc let me just clarify the things between those two confusing names so um, MSc stands for Integrated Master and so it's a four year long program and I chose this compared to the bachelor, which is the BSc and a three year long program because um, I didn't really know and I still don't really know if I want to do research at the end of my degree. And so I didn't want, I didn't know if, I, if after my bachelor I was going to, I was going for a master or a PhD, or directly joining um, the job market. I had no idea, and I still have no idea about that. So I was comfortable with the idea to choose the integrated master like this. I already and uh, I will, I would already um, have a master at the end of my degree, and that sounds just more attracting, attractive to me, and also. Oh, the MSc um, was even more um, appealing to me because um, you have the opportunity to, to spend your third year abroad and this is something I really want to do. So if you're like me and like to spend um, time um, in another country to discover new ways of teaching and new people and a new environment, um, this could be the right thing for you. And so, but other than that, it's quite easy. Don't worry if you cho if you chose the BSc and you you wanted to beat the MSc or other or otherwise. But um, it's quite easy to change from the BSc to the MSc at the end of the first year, and it's quite easy also to change um, degrees. Um, between the same department as long as it is 
well explained and well documented and you really explain why you want to do this but it's still better if you stay in the same degree since the beginning it's just easier in, th in terms of administration and so on so yeah so this is just the, the difference between the bsc and the msc and the reasons why i chose the msc compared to, to the bsc you can ask some questions to prospective students and um, contact UCL, they're here to help you, so feel free to do that.